So this is square blocks. This is uh, the sequel to cubic blocks. Slightly longer speed run than cubic blocks, but um, it's it's getting down in time. So for for uh, so unlike cubic blocks, this is not a snapshot map. This is just 1.8. I like playing it on original 1.8. Uh, I don't. I think it's compatible with other 1.8 versions, though I'm not sure. So whatever. Um, so you just jump on this pressure play it and then get over here right and when you push this button you start the map um, so you push the button and start the timer at the same time and then you you have to kind of like jump past so there will be like falling stuff here you just want to jump past that right so I like to s hold my shift button and then hold W and then switch and then split when because uh, my split key is weird um, when I press the button and then I jump so it's something like this. Uh, whoops. Start time and then jump and then you, English is faster to cross for this for this map. Unlike cubic blocks, where it's the same. You can actually move around if you jump here. So then hold forward. I guess if you didn't see my other tutorial, you want to hold forward and shift or like sprint key, and then just start spamming. So the interesting thing there's more mechanics with this. Um, map so I'm just kind of going through this map but basically what I pay attention to is I come down here and then I jump on the side here right and then just run out here and just jump around here I get stuck by the walls so it's not like I'm not like perfect with this movement and then come get the TNT a big difference big difference that I personally like um, between square blocks and cubic blocks is in square blocks you do not need t uh, flint and steel you just place the TNT and it blows up which is wonderful. And then you just jump, double jump. A lot of the mechanics are the same as cubic blocks, so, um, you yeah. know. Just jump up here, sprint jump a lot, a lot. Place the TNT. So these blocks are different. This is, I think this is the first block that's different, right? And so you can go through these green blocks, but not through the red blocks. So then you just jump here, get the TNT. A lot of this is just making the right thing and stuff. Which you can just pick up on by watching or doing the map even. So this is the first actual like real trick, right? So you want to get up here, you get this checkpoint, and then you run past these clear inventory blocks, which are actually uh, very very uh, important in the square blocks run, and I'll explain that later. So then you run down here, and so in this map there will be these cutscenes kind of thing, right? You'll have blindness, uh, you you can't move. And it'll go through like maybe some dialogue or whatever. And it's basically like a cutscene. They're short, but cutscenes. I'll call them cutscenes. Um, so you can actually skip them, uh, all of them, I believe. So if you run down here by using the teleporter, right? So you have this checkpoint, right? And then as soon as you see the darkness, right? So that was when the darkness happened, right? The blindness. Uh, as soon as you see that, you're gonna use the uh, the uh, teleporter and it'll bring you back to your checkpoint and skip all the effects and skip the entire cutscene and you can just move again instantly and that saves a bunch of time throughout the run because there's uh, multiple of them um, so I think if you do it too late you can't use the teleporter so you just can't do it too uh, too late if you do it too early uh, you won't do it while you're in the cutscene and it'll just play the cutscene anyways and yeah. anyways um, so just do it right when you see the blind, like react to the blindness. Um, so anyways, then then what I do is instead of like using this double jump to get across, right? I do I back up to the wall here and press hold. I hold my sprint key and then press forward and jump at the same time. So I do this like that, right? And then basically just trying to make this jump, right? Because it's faster. It's not that hard to make. Um, but I do actually miss it sometimes. Like that, you just kind of want to get the jumping start and just that. So then the uh, the big like mechanic, or one of the one of the different mechanics is you have a hammer, and the hammer can break these uh, cracked blocks, right? And so you just break these and get through here. And so these tracks are for these silverfish bots, right? You can read all of this, but if you play like the map, right? I'm just trying to explain the mechanics as uh, quickly as possible for anyone who doesn't want to actually play the map um, casually. 
So you get these maps. So you get these, right? And it'll have this silverfish bot, right? And then you want to... So you see these, like, three slots in your inventory. It's, I guess, five through seven, right? Five will be a move. Six will be explode. And seven will be drop uh, block. I'll just say block. So you instantly... As soon as you get these silverfish, right? You always want to, like, press move, right? So I always have... It um prepared on my fifth slot, right? Like I use my hammer, move to my fifth slot, get the silver fish, move, right? And then run back here, jump, make these jumps, and get to this wall. So if you, whoa, that was really bad. So my finger likes to like, my hand is like weird, and I like to keep pressing right for some reason. I don't know why, but um, oh my god. So whenever. It's really bad to fall here because when you have to teleport back, you lose the silverfish. Um, so this is a bad tutorial, but that's just something to point out. And you want to wait until they get in range of this block, and I'll kind of show you what in range means. So like right here, you press explode, right? And there's like the TNT locks, right? Where you place the TNT. And this is where you get actually get the TNT, and they just blow this up, and then fall down here. And then keep your hammer equipped and run like around here. Break these blocks and then instantly switch to the move and then press it. And come over here, press this lever so that the silverfish will take the right path. Drop a block, right? Uh, when it's like in here, 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 whatever, it doesn't really matter. And I'm sorry for the voice cracks. I don't know why I'm having, I'm having a lot of them today, but it's weird. Uh, so then you just jump on this block, jump up here, and jump up here. And then you get this checkpoint. Use this double jump. It's basically just making the right jumps that you would normally do if you uh, played the map casually. So then break this block. TNT, jump down here. Do that. Alright, so then this room, I'm going to explain the puzzle, I guess. Because <laughs> the puzzle is weird. So you want to push this, right? So it'll be blue. You push it so that you can walk through the green side, right? And then get the check important get that checkpoint. And then walk through here. Move this silverfish. Press the lever. When you see it past the intersection, press the block. Uh, get another one, move. Press the lever again so that it goes the other way. And when you see it go in here, block. And then get the TNT. Right? So that's just doing the puzzle right. And then you wanna run over here with your teleportation out, right? And you wanna Hit the block, teleport, and that'll make it so you're here and you can walk through here, right? So this is uh, interesting. So this is these double jumps, right? They give you a double jump, right? You can double jump, and if you so if you land, blow that up, right? And then so if you and then run like this. So if you double jump and then continue to hold space when you land, you'll do a high jump, and that allows you to get up here. Normally, you go through this whole like crawl space where it introduces this mechanic and blah 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 blah, right? And then get up here and yeah yada 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 and it's it's really long and it's stupid but you can just skip it by doing this trick that Froggy Fro found where you just hold space when you land here and then you can just get up here and skip the entire thing. So then you turn around and you get up here, double jump up to here, these clear blocks, and then jump over here. And so this is where if you don't want to do this jump yet, it's kind of finicky and may kind of a little tricky. Um, I just found it, so even I can't do it right perfectly. Uh, but it's it's much faster. But if you don't want to, you just go through here, double jump up here like normal. This is the normal route. And you just do that, and then blow this up, right? Now, if you want to do the 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 one that it's 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 much faster to do. You stand here, right? I like to like position myself because it's like really a weird kind of jump and then you as fast as you can you want to get go over to this block right and position yourself like facing dead straight ahead right um, and then hold forward sprint and like just jump over here right so the way that works is you're gonna fall off of this block right and you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna hit this you know because this is how the block works. You can walk on the side of them, 
So you're gonna hit like that, right? And so you can jump from this level, this block, right? It's just enough to get you over here. So if, if you line it up right, you just do, see like that, I don't even know why that failed, right? I, like legit, I have no clue. I guess I'm maybe I'm going too fast, but I don't know. So this is just a weird thing. And I'm not sure why I'm not getting it to work. Yeah, I, I really don't quite know why this isn't working. I guess you kind of have to be at an angle to do it. But then you land right here, right? And if you go through here normally, you just jump on this side, right? And then, you know, jump through that block, right? Don't like that, right? But like, you, um, if you jump from here, you just turn right and go through here. And then wait and then jump. So that's just a thing. Anyways, so then you come down here, jump up there, over here, TNT, as fast as you can. Nothing really to explain here, just doing it right and fast. Grab, uh, teleport right as you do that. Uh, use the TNT, blah, blah, blah. Here, what I do is I run forward, right? And then I do my, because if you just do that, like, right? You run into the same problem in cubic blocks where you just kind of like fall on, you just kind of get trapped under the thing, right? So what I do is I stand here and I do a single jump and then sprint forward and double jump at the same time. And that'll get me here. And I just jump up and go through here to the uh, left. And then just double jump like that, right? I guess uh, for some reason it's like a weird double jump. You can't like wait a long time. It seems like you have a shorter wait than... Like the other double jumps, maybe that's just me, but you just double jump up here and go through here. Break these blocks. Boom. I'm actually not sure why that um you know why that switch is there, because you never use it. I don't know. So then you just get up here, go through here. Really Really great tutorial when you just say you just do this and this and this, but it's just kind of what the game expects of you. I'm not pointing out anything special. It, yeah, it's just me for feeling like it's short. You want you want to make sure you don't mess up that helix. That helix is uh, semi difficult, like this, right? Unless you're good at parkour, but I'm not great at helixes, so just that, right? And then. Come into this room. This room's pretty easy. Jump on this creeper block, and yeah, boom. Just like falling here, jumping here, and then getting up there. And you'll you'll, you'll stick to the ceiling uh, if you don't know the mechanics. And so then this room is interesting. So what I do is I I get this right, and I come over here to the button, and then I press move, and then instantly press the button. And then I use the block when it's in, on this slot, right? And so that allows me to both get up here and do this with one block. I think typically you're supposed to place it here and then somewhere along here and use two blocks, but you can just use one. I don't know if that's just me. That's just what I did on my first playthrough. So you jump, get this TNT, and do this. All from the same block. And so this is my first split when I enter this. Break all this. Uh... You don't need to break all of it. You, you need to break most of it. Just break all of it. Um, it's really easy. And then uh, break this, come down here. This is the first instance of a crawl space in the run. Because you skip the other one. And then use your teleportation where does you get this. So this, usually you would jump up here and use this. And then fall down there and then change the other thing and then teleport back. But I found a new trick where you just use the same thing you did to skip the crawl, crawl space. You just do this, and you just do that. Uh, it might be a little hard to get the hang of, but you just do that. You just double jump, right? And then right as you, like, come, pat, like out of here, right, like where you can actually jump, you just jump and then press the thing and teleport and place your thing to do the same thing once again. Boom. So yeah, that saves a bit of time. 
And now this is another cutscene skip. So we come up here, we press activate that, and then teleport back, and then teleport right when you see the uh, enemy come up. I think there's a name for the enemy um, that is apparently like well known or something. I don't know. I don't really know. I'm not educated on it. But yeah, that's how you do that cutscene skip. And then I completely forgot. So completely forgot about this. So this is another use of the double jump thing, but it's not really. So you just do. So you know, in, you're suspended in midair for a bit, right? You do that, and then you get over here. Well, it kind of is the double jump thing, right? So you do this, right? And then you land, and then when you land from the hovering in midair, right? You can do a high jump. And then you just get over here and jump up here. This map takes some practice. Both both of the blocks maps take some practice. We like to call them the blocks maps: cubic blocks and square block, uh, square blocks and cubic block blocks. I don't know. We just like it, it sounds like blocks. So we just like calling them the blocks maps. Yeah. And then there's this. I actually don't. I guess yeah. I guess there's like restrictions, but it just kind of looks like a white open room, kind of, which is pretty cool. Uh, this. So this room is can be tricky actually. Um, there. Uh, yeah. So you just kind of have to master the parkour, and then fall down here. And so I don't know. I'm gonna explain this for whatever reason. But if you so don't okay. Typically you're just gonna do this, right? You're gonna get this. Come up here. And use that button to push out that block and then teleport back. And then get the TNT and then walk over and jump up there. And get but you can also do, it's incredibly hard, but right at the beginning you fall down here. Like right as you come in the room, you fall down here, get the TNT, teleport. And I, I have never been able to do this. You do an uh, item preserve. Uh, I don't know if I explained this in this tutorial yet, but basically item preserve, if I haven't explained it, is when you land on the edge of these, right? And when you land on the edge of these, or edge of all blocks, I think, it doesn't like activate. See, like I can jump here, right? It's not activating. I jump here, it activates. But on the edge, it's not activating. So if I jump on the edge of these things, right? They won't activate and they won't clear my inventory. That was really weird, I got stuck up there. So they won't activate and they won't clear my inventory. So I can use that to keep the TNT. And it's not like viable because you know it's fairly hard uh, to pull off, but uh, it is a is it is a thing that we might consider to save time when this map becomes incredibly optimized. I'm trying to do it right now. I, I really shouldn't because it's not even viable. Don't even go for it. So then you press the button, right? You teleport back, and then you get the TNT. Come jump on this block, group her up. And then this one, get out your teleporter and hold space when you're falling there, right? So I'm falling, hold space, yeah, and I'll jump immediately. And then jump up here, press the button, use the teleporter, and you'll get the GLaDOS potato, which is fun. J do this jump again. You want to inch to the edge of this block because, I don't know, they made it so it's like right out of range. Or it's like right at the edge of the block range. And then you gotta trade with the TNT. Don't fall, because that wastes time. And then teleport back, switch to TNT. Okay. So this room, you wanna get over here to the TNT, right? TNT, fall down, and it, it trigger the villager, teleport. Push this button, boom. Just as fast as, as, fast as you can, basically. And so that's the end of the, that's basically the end of the first chapter. You just jump up here, try and get around that corner fine. And then double jump up here and trigger this. And you're in a cutscene that it lasts maybe like 40 seconds, I think. That's the end of the four, first chapter. And it's about six and a half minutes in, depending. Don't fall because that was time. Yeah. Um, yeah, so this is the start of chapter two. Like, uh, I 
so again, I split at that first that room where you demolish all the things, right? Whatever. Uh, uh, it split at the start of chapter two, and I, which is, first of all, get out your, uh, get out your hammers. And it's, I split when the chapter two, the short one, comes up on the screen. And so first of all, then you want to turn around here, jump up here, demolish these blocks to get these blocks to fall down. Come down here, teleport yourself when you get the TNT, and put it on here. Break these blocks, and then, okay, so break these blocks, and then when you get on the yellow box, right? You wanna, you just wanna kind of jump straight, right? Which is kind of hard. I typically, I, I end up like, I'm like, wait, wait, which direction am I going? So I just kind of fail there all the time. But you wanna go straight, and then land on here, and then immediately, uh, uh, cutscene skip because, and then teleport back when you get the TNT, because that one, if you do it like, re, like if you do it like. Later, it'll it'll be too late, and you can't use the teleportation. Um, so that's just a tight timing window. And again, a lot of the like a lot of this map is doing the right movement, and you'll just pick up on the movement when you do the map, and like maybe watching me do it. But then you get up here, and I should explain this room actually. So you immediately come over here, pick up this, and move it. All the way until it gets in here, and when it gets here, place the block, push the button to boost the bot block up, get another uh, silverfish, and place a block right like here, right, and then just jump up. So that's how that works. And then jump up here, and then use this to jump there. I don't know if I explained, but those give you a big jump. And then place the thing through there, and then this is another cutscene skip. So you're gonna hit the so basically you're gonna hit the uh, checkpoint jump over the like clear blocks you're not gonna like jump over them you hit them but like when you get past the clear blocks immediately uh, teleport yourself so right like that or maybe react to the uh, blindness but that skips the cutscene that's also another tight timing window uh, as far as I remember and then you wanna okay and then I should explain this so then you're gonna go in this crawl space, jump up to the creeper block, and then run along here, hit this, go into this leaf block, jump up here, and then jump, and all the way over here. It's just movement. You'll pick up on it by doing runs, basically. That's how I did. That's how I work. And then, so I guess I can explain this. Basically, you just fall down here, and then what I do is I aim for like here and like the edge, right? There is actually a strat, and I don't remember it though, where you can like get through here without like losing your sprint, right? Uh, yeah, you can basically get through there without losing your sprint. Maybe I don't remember, but then you just come over here and like this, jump up here, boom. Simple stuff. Simple stuff. Hitting up here, simple. Falling down, get your third slot ready. And w once you'll do, when you do like a bunch of runs, right? You'll you'll start to pick up on like when the, oh sorry, when the time to you know get a certain item appears, and you'll automatically switch to like that slot. So when I know that I'm about to get TNT, I switch to my third slot automatically. When I know I, I'm about to get a silverfish block, I switch to my fifth slot to move it immediately. So then you do that. And then push this and you can walk through. There might be a, no, I guess not. You can just walk through here, right? And then, boom, get that checkpoint and make sure. And then go through this crawl space, jump here. This can be kind of, this part can be kind of confusing of which way to go, but it, it's not that hard. And then you want to jump on this block, teleport, go in here. Uh, TNT, block, teleport. TNT. This part's slightly harder. So when you come in here, right, you're going to turn to left, 
get this double jump, turn around and just double jump here. And that's where you're supposed to go. And then just make these jumps. Turn around, checkpoint, jump here. And then you'll fall down here. And so this is where I should point out another strat. If I can find out a consistent way to do this, you can actually preserve this TNT. Remember what I was talking about earlier with the uh, item preserve thing? You can, you can do that on this block, but it, it's really hard. And I haven't figured out a consistent way to do it. So we're just going to do it the normal way. Make these jumps. Push the... You, you can either just, like... I don't know which one is faster. May, uh, maybe they're the same. You can either get this checkpoint, teleport back. Is that not? Hang on. You got this checkpoint, teleport. Can you not do that? I don't know. But get this at the checkpoint, press the button, teleport. Or no, don't teleport. I'm sorry. What am I, what am I saying? Don't teleport. So you can either get this checkpoint and immediately run back and get the TNT and then teleport. Or you can push the button and then run back. But now you have to like push the button or whatever. TNT. That. And then once you get the tool of... I guess it's it. I don't know. Once you get the flower, put it in the flower pot. And then run down here. And we're towards the end of the map, so bear with me. The tulip, yeah. So then you just jump this. And so I split when I enter the final boss. So you can see this final boss battle, right? And we're going to skip half of it, basically, by using item preserve. Now, item preserve, I know, sounds like this really hard thing where you nail the edge of a block. But it's not that hard in this case because the block, the edge is really easy to hit. And you'll see. So then you get this checkpoint, right? And once you fall down there, that'll begin the boss fight. And when you are when you kind of, like, switch camera angles slash, like, teleport, whatever, that's when I split. So I will split now. And once I hit this checkpoint, once this blindness, I mash uh, right click to teleport out of there. So I cut scene skip. And then I want to go through here as fast as possible. Um, well, obviously, you want to go through everywhere as fast as possible. But basically, see, that's why. Because this camera, your camera changes, right? And it can throw you off. I don't know. Just kind of waste some time. So then, basically, what you're trying to do is. I should go slower, I guess. Alright, so you're gonna get this TNT, right? Light up these blocks, get another T oops, get another TNT, and make the jump to here. Double jump up here, break these blocks with your hammer. Now put the TNT in the chest, hit the item clear box, take it out of the chest, light this up. Uh, if you've gone fast enough, that's when you'll about like make the camera change. Right. Um and then jump up here, you take out the first power cell, and time ends when you take out the second power cell. Um, power cell. So then you immediately go grab this TNT, right? And then teleport back, and you want to item preserve. So you're going to jump at the edge of this block, right? It's not that hard, I, I swear. Like, I'll nail it right now. So I got blindness, but you, you kind of want to go... So if you... I guess if you do this, right? Alright, so I was talking about it. He's only throwing. It's, it's easy to hit the edge, I swear. Like, if literally just, like, kind of look at where the edge might be. Like, see, it's so easy. And then that's how you get over here. Normally, you have to do this entire puzzle, and it wastes a bunch of time. But if you just light up the TNT, right? Time ends when you shift-click this. Or even when you don't shift-click. You don't even have to shift-click it. But when you take this out of the thing, out of the core.exe, right? So time ends when you click it. Time ends when you click it, basically. And so that's the end of square blocks. I don't know if chat has any questions. If YouTube has questions, there's a comment box. Uh, the link to this map, and I guess my world record will be in the description.